Hey guys, I am back with another video. We're going to be talking about the Daryl Dixon, the Book of Carol, um, related to episode one of season two. So yeah, for now, let's dive on in. So today's video, I thought this would be a very interesting topic to talk about it because of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, the Book of Carol, um, has some very interesting topic from the tri uh, triad um, festival they just done for an early uh, premiere for season two, episode one. And before we dive in, I do not want no spoiler alert. This is not going to be nothing spoiled. Just like with people comment, like a really like a overall review of it, their point of view. So yeah, so like, I got a couple of them that I want to talk about and then have my overall thoughts of it. So this one is Amber Holt I'm sorry for but butchering it, but it says one of the most heartbreaking moments we see of Carol alone. The result was around a song that Carol sings along with to herself. Even through the song has very simple lyrics. I am beginning with the thought is fully explained why Carol is prohibited to do anything to get Daryl back. So from what this is and my overall thought is it goes like I said um, with her journey to um, to find Daryl and maybe like this song um, kind of relates to something with her past. Maybe it re relates to something with Sophia or something like that. But I don't know. It's just like that right there is very interesting. The girl who is still back in America is right where she, we left her as she's searching for where Daryl could speak be split with be split with Daryl who is in back and friends I'm coming off the show like the ones who live into give friends satisfaction it is seen if the book of Carol is proved us it will be more slow burning story perception so this makes it's interesting like how they mention the ones who live give fans satisfaction but it just says the book of Carol Permitting with a bit more slow burning. It makes you wonder like that. And it kind of makes sense with this point of view because of the fact that with the ones who live is just a flat out limited series. They put all this pack pack impact with so much action and with the book of Carol it might be like a slow burning. They don't have to get to the point exactly but at the same time they do if that makes any sense. So yeah. And this other person says it feels like we're pulling teeth to know that I have to wait months for the second episode now. That first really worked to bring us back to Carol and set up the rest of the season could possibly go. It got me extremely excited for the book of Carol. So, and want more. So, from what this seems like, it's like a very good episode for a premiere was. And it makes you wonder how interesting it is going to be and how good it, it is like that. This Jeanette looks very scary and really creeps me out at one point, which was a really thrilling and showing the possibility of a real interesting villain for the season 2 arc. I mean, I really like Madame Jeanette character was we seen in season one. I can't wait to see what season two is per se. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm just quite interested how her character plays out more with her and the Baron Walkers and stuff. But my overall thought of with everything that I talked about, I think pretty much we're going to see it mainly will be talking about with Carol's point of view more than Daryl but don't get me wrong I think we are going to see Daryl but I think we're going to see more of Carol's journey for the title of the book of Carol we're going to see like more Carol um impact action and stuff like that of her journey so I don't know I'm just like I'm quite interested it just sucks that we have to wait till September and with everybody have a lot of people have seen the episode one but yeah so I want to hear your guys' thoughts of it in the description below and if you're new to my channel you like what you see hit that subscribe button turn on my keep us new video and I will check you guys out in my next video